So I've been away for about three months, but I had to come out of the woodwork for this one. A few weeks ago, the Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection was announced seemingly out of nowhere. For myself and many others, these games hold a special place in our hearts and defined a large part of our childhoods. I still remember to this day, 20 years on, the massive argument me and my friend Alex got into when he accidentally unplugged the power to his PS2 right as I was about to play as Yoda for the first time. I remember all the crazy mods on PC and playing with 32 bots per team. I remember the multiplayer. I remember discovering heroes versus villains for the first time. But most of all... What I remember about the rise of the Empire is... is how quiet it was. All jokes aside, what I'm going to say in this video mostly applies to PC players only. I get why people on the PlayStation 5 or Xbox would want to have a port of their favorite classic Battlefront games. For the most part, to those, I say have fun and enjoy the game. My only real gripes that apply to the console release of the game thus far is the fact that it's going to take up around 50 gigabytes of space for some reason. To put that in perspective, the original games are less than 10 gigabytes combined, so there's really no reason for the classic collection should take up more than five times that amount. Other than the size, the big issue I have here when it comes to the PC release is the fact that they're charging over $30 for a 20-year-old game that, by the way, if you were to go on Steam right now and just buy the originals, you could get them for 10 bucks each, also not counting the fact that they both regularly go on sale for under $5. This whole collection right off the bat seems like a scam to me, at least for PC players. Now, some have been quick to point out that the collection is going to include the originally Xbox-exclusive DLC maps like Renvar Harbor and the like, which the original Steam release does not. Only, here's the thing. You can easily get those maps along with literal hundreds of others by searching Battlefront modded maps on Google. There is a one-to-one -one port of those quote-unquote exclusive maps that have been available for years. All you need to do is get the file and drop it into your add-on folder, and then you have the so-called exclusive content. On that note, it also appears that in the original Classic Collection trailer, the devs actually used an earlier version of the mod I'm mentioning, and they're charging 30 plus dollars for it. I believe this situation has been rectified now and they're no longer using the mod, but still, the fact that originally they were trying to sell us a mod for $30 is insane to me, and again makes the whole thing come off as some kind of scam. Then there's the question of what happens to the original games and their servers once the collection releases, and as of right now, those servers are still up and you can still buy the original games, and by the way, those servers also have 64 players in them, which seems to be a big selling point of the collection for some reason, even though we already have that. But what will happen to those servers once this new collection comes out? What will happen to the original releases on Steam? Will they be just delisted? Is this all a clever con to get people to pay more money for what's already available at a cheaper price? What is the point of even buying this game if you're a PC player? Even predominantly console guys could get a better deal by getting the original releases cheaper on Steam or GOG and putting it on an old laptop, as the game system requirements aren't demanding at all. I used to run the original Battlefront 2 on a 10-year-old laptop that was literally held together by tape, and it ran fine. The only potential thing that may make the collection worth buying is the fact that it seems to be that they may have done some work on the engine, taking it from a 32-bit engine to a 64-bit, which may open up opportunities for more advanced mods and increased stability, which would be a good thing because to be fair, especially Battlefront 2 with mods tends to crash a decent amount. But then that also brings me to my next point. What will happen to the hundreds, if not thousands, of old mods that have existed for the past 20 years? Wouldn't the engine change cause a lot of them to not work properly, if at all? There are loads of mods out there from graphical overhauls to maps to entire new factions and characters, and my concern is that with the maybe more stable engine we're getting, we'll also be losing loads of these fantastic mods that people have done a lot of work on and that a lot of us love playing. I mean, the original Battlefront games have been well known for that extensive modding community, and we might end up losing that, and it might just become a vanilla, boring experience. Now, the vanilla games are great, but like I keep saying, they've been out for over two decades, and playing the same maps for two decades gets old real quick. So having all that modded content is important, and I feel that we may see a lot of that going by the wayside with the Classic Collections release. But that's just my two cents. What are your thoughts? 
Will you be buying the collection? Do you think it's basically just a scam like I do, or are you somewhere in the middle? Can you maybe see more positives to the 64-bit engine? Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching. I apologize for the lack of uploads recently. I've just been super busy in my personal life. As always, have a great day and stay safe. Goodbye.